In the old days, it used to be Democrats versus Republicans. Now, that's not really the paradigm anymore. When it comes to big government, apparently most of the Democrats and Republicans love it either way. And if you dare to strike back against big government, well, they will strike against you. Now, I thought John Boehner, as the leader of the Republicans in the House, was against big government, right? No way. When they're snooping in on you and spying on all Americans, he loves big government. If anybody dares tell you about it, he hates them. That includes, of course, the leaker in the NSA case, Edward Snowden. Let's watch. He's a traitor. Uh, the president outlined last week that these are important national security programs to help keep Americans safe and give us tools uh, to fight the terrorist threat uh, that we face. The disclosure of this information uh, puts Americans at risk. Uh, it shows uh, uh, our adversaries what our capabilities are and uh, it's a giant violation of the law. Hmm. Our adversaries. So who is your adversaries? The American people? Like, Al Qaeda didn't know that you were trying to spy in on their emails? Come on, that's ridiculous. Like, China and Russia didn't know? They already knew. The only people who didn't know were the American people. And now he's a traitor. Well, Diane Feinstein can one up him. She called him treasonous. You know what the pun punishment for treason is, right? The death penalty. And Feinstein is a so called Democrat. Speaking of so called Democrats, we go to Al Franken next. I can assure you that this isn't about spying on the American people. I have a high level of confidence that this is used for to protect us, and I know that it has been successful in preventing. Uh, terrorism. There are certain things that I, that's appropriate for me to know that's not appropriate for the bad guys to know. Yeah, well, I remember working with Al Franken at Air America, and that's what he used to say about the Bush program all the time. It's appropriate for the government to know and to spy in on all Americans, but you know what? Uh, it's not appropriate for you to know. He used to say those same things. Oh, no, right. He said the exact opposite. But now that he's in the government and he's the chairman of the Privacy, Technology and Law Subcommittee, all of a sudden he says, no, 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 I get to see it, you don't get to see it, the American people don't get to see it, and you got to just trust me. This is just going after the bad guys. Well, if we're only going after the bad guys, why did the program targeting our phones involve getting a warrant for over 300 million Americans? How's that only targeting bad guys? That would seem to be the definition of a dragnet, a fishing expedition, where you target innocent Americans. Oh, no, no, don't worry, we're just finding out who you called, and by the way, the location of your call, where you were at the time, and by the way, uh, how long you called, uh, and all the different metadata. Oh, and by the way, did I mention, neglect to mention that in PRISM, we find out the content of emails, and even emails you didn't send and Skype chats, audio, video, the websites you went to. Well, you know, we collected 100 billion pieces of data uh, outside of the country. Also collected at least 3 billion pieces of data, by the way, this is per month, on Americans, but that was inadvertent. Don't worry, just trust Al Franken. Now that he's part of the government, everything's going to be okay. Trust Dianne Feinstein, they're good Democrats and progressives. Bow your head. And the Rep Republicans agree, big government is awesome, let them spy on all Americans. Here's another so-called Democrat, Bill Nelson from uh, Florida. He says, just on the issue of, is this a whistleblower or is this an act of treason? Here we go again with treason. I think it directly is, and I think that most of the people who serve on the Intelligence Committee will tell you that. Well, I don't doubt that, Senator Nelson. Everybody in the Intelligence Committee has already signed off on this program and hence have to protect their own asses. What do you think they're going to do? They're going to come out and say, oh yeah, yeah, that was yeah, our fault, man. Oh, my bad. Okay, yeah, we spied in on all of you. It was my fault. You're not going to say that. You're going to say anyone who exposes what we didn't tell you on the Intelligence Committee is treasonous. Treason is a very strong word. Lunatics like Colonel Ralph Peters on Fox News goes around using that word, saying that uh, Snowden and Manning should be put to death. Is that the kind of camp now Democratic senators are in, like Bill Nelson and Dianne Feinstein? It's sick. Right now, what we have is not Democrats versus Republicans. It's actually the establishment versus the rebels. Fortunately, the rebel forces are 
diverse, and a lot of them wildly disagree on everything else. But on this issue, we agree. But we are small. We are the minority. Here are the rebels. Senator Rand Paul saying that he will file a lawsuit all the way to the Supreme Court to make sure he protects the Fourth Amendment. Senator Mike Lee of Utah, another uh, Tea Party guy. Glenn Beck, Rush Limbaugh. I know he's fake, and I, the minute, the minute a Republican gets in office, he's going to flip back around and tell us how great the spying program is. But for the moment being, he tells us he's conflicted. Senator Bernie Sanders, by the way, as outrageous as Glenn Beck is, I believe him a lot more than I believe Rush Limbaugh on this issue. Senator Bernie Sanders, of course, the most progressive member of the Senate and a real progressive. Michael Moore, Glenn Greenwald, Julian Assange, and Daniel Ellsberg. That seems like a lot of names, but that's about it. There's a couple of others, of course. David Sirota, Lee Fong, writing great articles about it. Uh, and, and a lot of you out there. But when it comes to senators and major figures in the media, we don't have a lot of help. The establishment, Senator Lindsey Graham, Republican of South Carolina. Senator Barbara Boxer, Democrat of California. People like diplomats like Richard Haas, who love working both sides of the aisle. Representative Steny Hoyer, so-called Democrat of Maryland. House Speaker John Boehner, Senator Mitch McConnell, Senator Dianne Feinstein. How, uh, uh, Congressman Mike Rogers on the Republican side. And that list can go on and on and on. The, the overwhelming majority say, we are the government, bow your head to us, trust us. Even those Republicans who cry about every single thing President Obama does, love this about President Obama. All those guys who cry about big government, love big government when it helps to protect the establishment and spy in on all of the rest of us. It's not Democrats versus Republicans. When they tell you that on TV, they're lying. It's Democrats and Republicans versus us. And yes, sometimes that makes for strange bedfellows. And yes, I'm uncomfortable being on the side of Rand Paul and Glenn Beck, and I assure you they're uncomfortable being on the side of us and Glenn Greenwald and Julian Assange and Michael Moore. But we have to rally together. That's our only chance. Today, I am more scared of what the government will do than I have ever been. Because likely, they will win, and likely, this program will continue and expand and get worse and worse. And the next time there's another president in, and it could be this president, this president has been horribly abusive of our privacy and civil liberties. But remember Karl Rove. Remember what he did to Don Siegelman, governor of Alabama. Put Republican operatives on his prosecution team, sent him to jail for something that every governor of Alabama did, including his Republican predecessor. It was absurd. That man is still in jail. You think they won't go after the political opposition? All of you Democrats out there who are so happy to bow your head to Obama and say, oh yes, yes, take away our rights, absolutely, spy in on us. Next time there's a Republican president, you think the car robes of the world will just be pleasant to you and will not use that tool, will not use it as a weapon? Remember what Karl Rove did to the U.S. attorneys? Went around the country, said, you are to prosecute uh, voter fraud cases. A good Republican attorney general in, district attorney I should say, in New Mexico, said, I went and I looked and I looked, I tried to do my job. A and you ordered me to do it and I did it. I looked for voter fraud, but there isn't any voter fraud in New Mexico. They fired him. And they fired so many Republican district attorneys all across the country because they wouldn't be their political hatchet man. Now, after all those guys got fired, the next time someone like Karl Rove is in place, whether it's in the Republican establishment or the Democratic establishment, you think they're not going to do it again? You think that with all the information they have stored up on all of us now, the same guys who investigated the Quakers and the peace movement for possible violence? I mean, you think irony stops them? You think enormous hypocrisy stops them? The Quakers are by definition nonviolent. They investigated them for violence. Why? Because they were the political opposition. You give somebody this much power and they will abuse it. There is no question about it. In fact, we already know it in the Bush years when they said they were listening to Al Qaeda. As ABC News revealed in 2008, it turns out they were listening to the phone sex calls of our soldiers in Iraq. And now when a former Republican leadership aide was asked about Obama, he said this, 
This is so similar to the Cheney doctrine. It's not even funny, and nobody's talking about that. The one thing he's wrong about is we're talking about it. It is the Cheney doctrine. President Obama, he ran for change. He meant none of it. He has continued the Cheney doctrine. And the Republican leadership aid adds, at least the Republicans are consistent. The left should be enraged. He promised something better than this, and it's fucking the same. It's the same arrogance. Unfortunately, I agree with another Republican. Yes, it is the same. The same arrogance, the same abuse, the same Cheney doctrine. This is the guy who ran his central campaign promise as change. All he's done is change his own positions and turn the power of the government against its own citizens. The rebels must unite and they must fight back against this because the abuse has already begun but it only promises to get worse and worse.